it's the next day and I just wanted to give you an update on Sunny and how she's doing. My dough that I showed you yesterday that was dealing with some diarrhea. Uh, I already, you know, did some things for her, but I just want to do some additional things after doing some research and some thinking on what's really going on. So I'm just going to be doing some different things and I thought I'd show you guys, but I'm trying to hurry along and get this done because my daughter Ellie is napping and I want to go ahead and get some chores done as well. So, so one thing I'm giving is this uh, injectable B complex. I have two uh, sterile syringes with needles here and uh, some alcohol prep pads to prep the area. I'm going to be giving that sub Q to two of my does. And then I have prepared some red cell, uh, which I'm going to give as an oral syringe to these two does in particular. I'll show you the red cell down here. This is high iron supplement. And then this is just a leftover that was in the bowl that for whatever reason didn't pour back in. Uh, I'm going to mix that up for Sunny using my Molly's Formula 2 to make her um, a little dosage ball with that and uh, also some GI soother I'm going to be using. Oh, please remember, I'm not a veterinarian and I'm very new to owning goats. I've only had my Nigerian dwarf does since July. However, I have worked in natural health for a lot of years. I managed medical practices for both a naturopathic physician, um, a medical doctor who specialized in cancer pathology, as well as a functional medicine doctor was my previous position in New York. My husband was in the military, so we lived in Washington and New York and previously in Michigan. Now we're back in Michigan. So I have a lot of experience working as a patient educator, as a liaison to patient, as well as to um, managing these medical practices and working really close with all those physicians that I got to know well and learned so very much from. So this is where my background comes in as far as the way I manage my herd and the way I'm choosing to approach uh, any health situations that may arise. So I am just showing you what works for me based off my own experience and knowledge uh, working in natural health and from you know things I've learned in my you know 15 years of research leading up to me owning Nigerian dwarf goats. And uh, this is just what I'm doing. So please consult a vet, talk to goat mentors near you. You're welcome to ask me questions about what I do and why I do it, but just bear in mind that I am not telling anyone to do something different with their herd. I'm not claiming any of these things work or don't work. I'm just doing what I'm doing for my herd and you should do what's best for your herd also. So I found that these baby spoons actually work awesome because they're so long uh, for mixing things up. And I also have this little cutesy little spoon that I'm gonna be using as well. Now I'm mixing this up for Sunny here and I've got different colored uh, tops on these containers to help me remember. So Sunny is getting a few scoops of this Artemisian, which is a sweet wormwood. Giving Sunny GI Soother. And a little GI Soother for ID. Now I've got my Molly's Herbal. quarter teaspoon there. I've got oats and peanut butter to mix in with this Molly's herbal. Mix it around. Now I've got something that is textured enough I can hand to her as a treat.
got to be ready before the goats come in. You don't want to leave them unattended on the stand and uh, they go a little crazy. They're, you know, junior does. So they have been trained a little bit and this is not her first time on the stand. It's been quite a few times. So you can see she's working on that food. All right, I've got my sterile pad and my injection. I'm gonna do this here on the shoulder. Well, I'm not gonna show you guys how that went because it was a little horrendous. Uh, she didn't kick or scream or anything. But you know, I'm a newbie. I've got some yellow fingers from the V12. Uh, she's got a little bit of yellow on her coat, but I think it went well. I just, you know, again, this is my first time ever. Don't learn from me, learn from someone who knows what they're doing. I'm just sharing the experience with you and uh, I'm sure it will go better in the future. You know, practice, all things in life are practice and goats are a skill. So now I've got her little treat I made for her here, Sunny. Sunny, look. Mmm, sun. Sunny, what's this? Ooh, yummy. And she gobbled that up pretty quick. And now I've got a red cell for her. Mmm, she's not sure about that, huh? What do you think, son? All right, so this is going to be a more forceful one. All right, son. Hey, you're okay, girl. So with goats, you got to be rough because they're super strong. And now I'm going to give her this syringe with the GI soother and the artemisian. Good girl. I know. I think I mentioned yesterday, Sunny gets drenched every other day with homeopathic and um, golden seal. So she's very used to it. Good girl, son. And now I think we'll do a little treat for her, just so we leave on a positive note, but she is all done. And that was not as bad as I thought it would be. Sunny. Let me let you in on a little secret if you're new to goats. Patience is key. You have got to be more stubborn than they are. All right, I've got ID's red cell here. Another didn't quite go as planned. She pulled a cut out a lot farther than I thought she could. So now she's got it all over her face. The reason why I chose to give red cell and the B complex um, and really everything I'm doing is based off of Mancha scores that I looked at this morning on my does and um, there's videos, you know, you can again look up people who have more experience than I in how to check your Mancha and um, that's a certification you undergo and you pay money, you do a class, you take a test. You get your certification, you get your Fremantia scorecard to have with you. That's something I will be pursuing in the future, uh, near future, ideally. So again, I've got this drench gun. I'm gonna drench her with this GI soother. Well, I just cleaned out the pen and put down some DE, put down some fresh straw. See that white powder? That's the remnants of the DE. Goats are happy, though they gave me a run for my money. Sunny's hanging out. Hi, son. She's doing good. She's been running around. Well, you guys, I am sweaty and gross and have some things to clean up. Finkel's not actually a great helper. Um, hey, bye, Fink. <laughs> you nippy little Fink.
what we got. So the diarrhea is firming up a little bit. That's good, huh, Cindy? You guys, look how beautiful the sunset is right now. I mean, of course, technology can never do justice to the real thing, but it's pretty beautiful nonetheless. You can see the dent on my truck where I hit a deer while going about 55, 60 miles an hour. The uh, truck is fine overall, but the deer was sadly not. It's my first deer in my whole life I ever hit. Hope it never happens again, but I do live in Michigan, so. I just love our windmill. So pretty. And our almost leafless old walnut trees, which are really drawn in the squirrel crowd right now. Got my dead mint plants here. Aww. But the parsley and the oregano and the rosemary is still kind of jamming. You can see lots of weeds, of course, but here's more oregano. Just holding on. And these are all pumpkins from my garden this year, which is so cool. First time ever growing pumpkins. These are the little uh, Casparita mini white pumpkins. Then we have the uh, sugar pie pie pumpkins. The Jardale, I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's pretty. I wish they would have got bigger. And then this is the winter luxury, which is also pie pumpkin. And I mentioned in another video that for some reason they all like got these weird little hole thingies in them, but oh yeah, this one's, see, does anyone know why that is? Has anyone grown this variety before? It was only this variety that it happened to. The other ones are much worse, so. <sighs> cute, cute, cute. I love my little homegrown pumpkin. Thanks again for watching this video. Heidi, get out of that wheelbarrow right now, you naughty little.